So guys and welcome back. Um, today I was going to show you a product um, photography shoot, uh, but what I had in mind and what I thought about it, it just sounded so simple. It was just too simple. Um, this is what it was, but it was just, you know, it's just, just too simple. But anyway, today I'm going to show you two ways that you can do product shoots at home. Now, one of them being this way. This is the easiest way. This is using like a little light box, totally simple. There's a light on, a light off, depending on what kind of light box you have. You can use it to like different temperatures, warm light, cooler light, white light. I like to use a white light all the time because then it gives you the um, you know best look. Um, the light box that I got, it was actually given it to me by a company called Samtian. Um, I think I've done a review on it ages ago. But um, yeah, it came with like a pile of different types of backgrounds. And I'm pretty sure you can buy even more colors online on Amazon or somewhere like these. They just attach like little Velcro on them. Um, so here was the, uh, the image that came out of just a light box. Now this was obviously um, taken using a tripod because you had to use um, different settings here, the settings that I used, obviously it was a, a longer one. I did try and use this handheld, but the shutter speed was just a bit too long for being handheld, I think. So obviously tripods are a really a must when you're doing product photography. Now the next one that I used is just another simple setup. This is one actually using um, this type of handheld light. You can actually attach this to a tripod as well. I do have two of them. Again, I think I've done a, a review on these lights before. These lights were pretty cheap. Um, I bought them myself off Amazon, can't remember where. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get them like newer or something like that may do them as well. Uh, these just have a light that just goes, you know, dim and off on basically you can dim it up and down. Now, the advantages of not using a light box is that you can get more creative. You know, you can add backgrounds, different types of backgrounds, easy backgrounds, backdrops, all, all different types. You're also not, you know, if you were doing a, a larger product, um, like a light box, you have to buy a huge light box. But, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck with the light box that you've already got for smaller objects, um, as opposed to if you were like I did um, for a company, radiators. You know, I couldn't stick that in the light box, could I? be ridiculous even to try. But I used two lights, but not these lights in particular, because these were, I used two studio lights with soft boxes on them to give a nice uh, soft feel. You can, I think, get little diffusers for these lights that you can just snap on, snap off. Um, I don't have them because I don't tend to use these lights for product photography too much unless I'm going to be using them as a prop or I need really hard light. Now again, you can dim them down. So, so anyway, here was the uh, images I took with that uh, setup. Now guys, like I said, both of these have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, like the light box is just super quick, super easy. Um, I do actually use this light box for products such as valves and other little tiny bits and bobs because it just works perfectly. Um, other than that, I would use for the bigger items, my table. Um, you know, you make up your own backdrops and backgrounds out of anything and everything. You know, the only thing that's holding you back is your imagination when it comes to that type of photography. So guys, that's it for another show. Um, hope you really enjoyed it and um, hope you learned something. Um, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And again, I'll see you in the next one.